Shalom. Welcome back to Code Searcher. 4.46 a.m. Um, I'm looking at Shemitah 5775 again. Uh, this is the, the one that uh, Rabbi Glazerson uh, did a couple of months after after me. Among several that he's uh, done that way. Um, I knew this one was going to be a big one. Because of the, I mean, look, the, the direct connection of the verse that goes right through it is is just talking about Shemitah cycles. Now, the thing about this table here is its connection to Jonathan Kahn. He was the one who brought uh, this whole thing into light. You can see his name here, Kahn, running right through Israel, uh, right there in the white. His name is also here with his first name, Jonathan Kahn. Uh, amazing. <clears throat> there's a comet here in the blue. Uh, there's an eclipse in the black and yellow. And eclipse over here as well. Make sure I don't miss anything. Rabbi Glazerson pointed out the Mashiach right here in the purple. Look at this. There is a separation of sheep and goats by 17 letters. Uh, the Moed running right through there in the purple you see. We have judgment here a couple times. Uh, the Harbinger in the yellow. Harbinger over here. Ay ay ay. You know uh, Nolan was over here today. I just realized something. This is uh... <laughs> he shut my computer off and uh... Anything that I hadn't been working on last night got reset to way, the way it was when I first started. And I just realized something is missing right here, which is uh, not serene. Um, man, why didn't I fix that? Um, we got the shaking up here in the white and blue. Uh, that is, of course, from the Harbinger. Um, Sons of Israel. We got As uh, Ereretz Masrim, uh, the land of I the land of Egypt. Uh, Pharaoh, right on top of that. What is really interesting about the conjunction of all of this is we've got the United States, right here in the green. Uh, should be Bet Hay Resh Aleph Bet, uh, sort of Brit. That Hay, blue, is America. So you got America and the United States con connecting with a letter uh, at a point and that point is the shaking you see there's a shaking right here now there's also Canada in here as well in the, in the, the orange I can't even say my colors at 4.50 in the morning uh, the, uh, the wrath is here four times excuse me three times we got wrath wrath or fury and also here in the one verse um, all conjoining together also have uh, the altar there's some kind of connection with uh, the wrath of God in the altar and we see here uh, wrath is running through the altar here and fire from the altar um, you know that's what I believe with the comet comes in after it I believe oh yeah yeah wormwood is so close guys I've been following this thing for years um, I got a dog chewing up a box come here Paco uh, so goes the profession for the uh, professional video the kakav uh, uh, star right here in the blue which would be a wandering planet uh, like Mars uh, the United States in the green right there and tightly knitted with it is Canada just like in real life war at the top we got the Gentiles here uh, this is amazing and this is something um, that Glazerson didn't point out um, America and Akhret Hayamin 
or the end of days coming together at a 90 degree angle right there. This is the naughty little chihuahua that's <laughs> disrupting right now. He's wide awake at 5 in the morning. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Well, Obama's here, guys, and Netanyahu, both. Let me move this over. You got Obama here in the red and black, and Netanyahu in a plain text right there. Uh, also, in this verse that I have highlighted here in the red, we've got uh, a collapse, or uh, or uh, what was the other word? Um, um, the fall. No, no, that's not it. It's a uh, The undone. That's it. The undone. Yeah, it was just slipping me for a minute there. Um, Michael the angel is here. Ooh. Now there is a blood moon, but it's down here at the bottom, and I believe that's you know just you know, and we're snooping. By the way, that's the term moving around like this. You see blood moon <clears throat> right here. However, uh, two eclipses are connected. Now, I don't think I pointed out this verse in the, in the last the time I've talked about this, but we're going to talk about this table, Siding Spring, Seventh Tetrad, and um, I think one other when we do the live stream conference. And by the way, guys, I think we got enough people in Texas that we can do the same thing there. Uh, 50, 60 people. And Kent, I might want to get you, brother, maybe help me organize that here in the future and get something, uh, some kind of uh, local conference maybe um, together. Love to do it. We could probably do that in regions. Um, so anyway these are things I'm looking at right now and uh, I wanted to show you the Shemitah one because this is God I'm telling you guys the blood moons the cycle that we're in what God has already shown me with with Ariel Sharon the sevens seven months from from the Rosh Hashanah was exactly seven months to the day in that table Then the siding spring, the interaction with Mars, war is coming, world war, famine, heat waves like you've never seen, fires, everything. All right, let's 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 look at the verses here. Hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. Come on now. I know it's late. Just hang in there. All right, we're in uh, Vakra 25, which is, uh, you know, very interesting <laughs> how this runs right through the access term. We're going to go to 21. All right, let's just back up and get the context of this. All right, now remember we've been talking about jubilees. According to the number of years after the jubilee, thou shalt buy thy neighbor, and according to the number of years of the fruits, thou shalt sell unto thee. Okay, this is, these, are, these are seasons, these are cycles of seven, uh, and counted off in jubilees. Now there's going to be 120 jubilees altogether from the beginning of, uh, of the garden until all things are fulfilled. We're in that jubilee cycle now guys um, according to the multitude of the years thou shalt increase the price thereof according to the fewness of years thou shalt diminish the price of it and according to the number of years of the fruits thus sell unto thee ye shall not therefore oppress one another but shall fear thy God for I am the Lord thy God wherefore ye shall do my statutes and keep my judgments and do them and ye shall dwell in the land safely. You know, God's got standards, and if, if if you live by them, things are good. 
if you don't well and if ye shall say what shall we eat in the seventh year behold we shall not sow nor gather in our increase because God says rest in that seventh year it's called a Shemitah and I will command then I'll command my blessing upon you in the sixth year he's going to bless you in the sixth year so you have enough in the seventh that's how it works and it shall bring forth fruit for three years and you shall sow in the eighth year and eat of the fruit until the ninth year until her fruits come and you shall eat up of the old store and the land shall not be sold forever for the land is mine for ye are strangers and soldiers with me. And all the land of, uh, and of your possessions, ye shall grant a redemption for the land. If, ye, if thy brother be wax and poor and hath sold away some of his possessions, and if any of his kin come to redeem it. How many know Jesus is a kinsman redeemer? He's coming to redeem. He's coming for the redeem. Excuse me. And then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. This is just like the, the story of Ruth and Boaz. Then let him count the years of the sale thereof and restore the overplus unto the man whom he sold it to, that he may return unto his possession. You see, you, land went back to the family. And we're living in a government now that, you know, you miss some tax payments and they take your land and auction it but if ye not be able to restore it to him which he sold he shall remain in the hand of him that hath brought it until the year of jubilee and in the year of jubilee it shall go out and he shall return unto his possession you know <laughs> coming of the Lord is a year of jubilee notwithstanding the cities of the Levites and the house of the cities that are their possessions may the Levites redeem at any time and if a man purchase of the Levites that the house was sold and in the city of his possession shall it go out in the year of jubilee for the house of the cities of the Levites it's all it's all there how do you think that's just just coincidence let's let's look at how many coincidences we just witnessed. I mean, in a, in a, in a section of less than 5,000 letters on a width of less than 10,000, God just laid it out. Now let's look at this next one because this is very profound. The Vereen 430. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shall be obedient unto his voice, America, for the Lord God, thy God is a merciful God, and he will not forsake thee, even though you forsake him. And neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers. Yeah, this country was founded by our forefathers on a covenant with God. Which he swore unto them. For now, as of the days that are in past, which were before thee, since the day that God created man upon the earth, and asked from one side of the heaven unto the other, whether there hath been any such thing as a great thing is, or hath been or heard like it. Did ever a people hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of fire and hath hath heard and lived? Or hath God a state to go to take him a nation in the midst of another nation by temptations, by signs, by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by an outstretched arm, and with great terrors? according to all the Lord God did before you in the land of Egypt before your eyes 
You know, and that's, that applies to America too. God has done some amazing things for Americans. You know, favor. We've had unsealed borders because we had God's hand upon us. Now, without His favor, don't come compla be, be, be complacent with uh, open borders because now we are open to attack from within. Uh, next verse, right here, uh, with the word I couldn't remember here just a second ago, um, undone. Paco, he's so rude. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. 25. We'll start at 25. And listen now. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them. Gods whom they knew not and whom not given, not unto them. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land to bring upon all the curses that are written in this book. And the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. Now we're talking about the context of the axis term here and the fact that America is running right through that at a 90 degree angle with in the last days. Folks, America wasn't even around when God wrote this. Think about that. Before the foundation of the earth, God put this in the Bible, in the Word. Even before it was written, it was there already sealed. What God had purposed, who can annul? And they saw from afar off and were astonished and marveled. Folks, this country is going to be an example of what happens when you walk away from God as a nation. It's sad. You got the, the Gentiles down here in the in the bottom short skip of course um, we have been the pride of all nations and and we're about to be humbled if we do not humble ourselves first y yes God can relent he will relent but it takes a national cry, and not just the leaders. I, I saw someone comment about that. What do you think? What are you saying? That the leaders need to repent? Yeah, leaders and all the people. A national prayer, a national. Uh, you know what? Ha what? What would happen if for three days the, everybody in this nation would shut down? No businesses, no trading money. Everybody would stop for three days and fast and pray. Might make a difference. Just saying, you know. But there it is. That's the Shemitah 5775. And there's going to be a shaking, my friend. And God's not playing. It's coming. God bless you. Listen, don't, don't have any fear. <laughs> if you are in the Lord, your, your redemption draws near. We're talking about the filthy, sinning, baby-killing, idol-worshiping, Oprah following, prosperity preaching, hyper grace eating world. They are the ones that need to be on the knees. And we're praying for them. So God bless you. Be, uh, be looking for the next video coming up here pretty soon.